so used to thinking of you, our audience, as old friends, that, well, sometimes I lose sight of the fact that new friends are joining us each week. It's on account of the mail that's been coming in, and I'm very grateful for it. So right now, I'd like to tell our new friends that this program is based on some of the letters that you've written to me, which makes you a part of this program. I really feel today. I bet I'll string bean and have a stroke. I hate today. First Aunt Lily and now Janet and Gloria. They're having one of their secrets. They shouldn't have secrets without me. We're supposed to be best friends. We're a club. Now they've got a secret without me. If Aunt Lily hadn't made me miss our club meeting this morning, I'd know the secret, too. Oh, Aunt Lily, we could have fit that old dress any time. We didn't have to do it this morning. Aunt Lily, it's almost 8.30. Stand still, Ellen. Only takes you 10 minutes at the very most to get to school. But today's our club day. If you wake your mother, there'll be plenty to account for. She had a late rehearsal last night. But I have to see Gloria and Janet. We're a club. Club? Just the three of you? Yes. Well, you can see them at recess. The meeting's before school. Please, Aunt Lily. All right. If you think I'm going to put my hands at this dress again, young lady, you're very much mistaken. I more than earned my board and room just keeping this house going. I'm sorry, Aunt Lily. I love the dress. It's just... Are you deliberately trying to wake your mother? No. Is she going to act on the television tonight? No, she's going to be home tonight. Oh, goody. Now can I go? In a minute. Oh, stink. Ellen Hartman. I'll slap you clean into tomorrow if I ever hear you say that unladylike word again. Have you been associating with that Dora Carpenter after what I told you? No. Well, good. Dora and I are the only ones in our class that don't have fathers. Your father, God rest his soul, is in heaven. Lord only knows where Dora Carpenter's father is. Janet said Dora's mother takes in boarders, and she's common. That'll be enough about Dora Carpenter. What's common mean? Do you want your mouth washed out, young lady? I just asked. And I just said that is enough. I wish my daddy wasn't dead. I told you not to speak about him. You know it upsets your mother. There, now slip out of this. Lay it carefully on your bed. Hurry up. Will you be late to school? Yes, Aunt Lily. If I could make them laugh, gee, we have lots of fun together when they don't have secrets. I know. I'll draw a picture of old string beans. Gloria'd say it's kid stuff. She always tries to make me feel like I'm a baby. If I had a secret, a real grown-up secret, like the time Gloria saw her sister kissing that boy, trouble is I don't have any sisters to tell secrets about. It's just me, and Aunt Lily, and Mama. Who wants to know anything about Aunt Lily? I don't know anything about Mama. I could make up a secret, I guess. But I can't tell it. Please, please. Oh, please, Ellen. 
Will you promise never, ever to have any secrets from me ever again? I'll be honored to club. Well, my very beautiful sister. Your sister? For sure. I have a sister that's in the movies in Hollywood. And she's coming home with her handsome boyfriend. And we're going to have a big wedding. No. Who's she going to marry? Robert Wagner, I guess. Or maybe Guy Madison. Oh, oh no. They wouldn't believe me. It's too storybook sounding. My stories always sound kind of funny. Janet can make up wonderful ones. I gotta make up something exciting, dangerous, forbidden. Most of all, forbidden. Like, like what Aunt Lily said last week. I said it's forbidden, that's all. And when I say it's forbidden, that's it. The next time you start talking about babies, you're going to have pepper on the tongue. You understand? But Aunt Lily, Gloria has three sisters and Janet has one and two brothers. Why can't Mama have a baby sister for me? You're just itching for that pepper, aren't you? No, I'm not. Oh. Well, drink your milk and get back to school. Gee, I sure wish I could ask Mama to have a baby sister for me. <coughs> Oh, I, uh, I want you to stop by the store on your way home from school and get me uh, a dozen eggs and a quart of milk. More milk? Yes, more milk. Now, remember, no more talk about unladylike or forbidden things. Mother's going to have a baby, a girl. When they read my real good secret, they'll forget all about theirs and want to know all about mine. Maybe I won't tell them, but I will. Janet and Gloria, it's not for you. Lunchtime, children. I hope all your compositions are lovely. Dora Carpenter, it's your turn to be book monitor. Class dismissed. You want it back? Yes, I do. It's a secret. Well, you can have it. For a quarter. But I don't have a quarter. What about your allowance? I don't get an allowance. Your mother's a big, fancy actress, and you don't get an allowance? I don't believe you. I don't. Honestly. Please, Dora. That's too bad. Don't be mean, Dora. It was that Lily sent you home. I didn't do it. I like you. Well, I don't like you. So I'll just keep your little note and give Dole string me. That'd be more fun anyway. No, don't do that. I'll get the quarter. Honest, I will. Right after lunch? I'll get it somehow. Well, why don't you get it from that stuck-up Aunt Lily of yours? She must have lots of quarters around. <laughs> If Dora gives the note to old Stringby, she'll give it to the principal and he'll call Aunt Lily. Aunt Lily. Some things are forbidden. Aunt Lily will tell Mama. 
Oh, and Mom will think I'm bad. I don't want Mom to think I'm bad. I want her to think I'm a good girl. Mama's pretty, like a queen. Mama mustn't find out. She just can't. She's like a queen. I love Mama. I'll get a quarter. I will, someplace. <laughs> What's the matter, Ellen? Nothing, nothing, Aunt Millie. We'll eat your lunch. There's a skinny now. You could slip down the drain. We'd never find you. You got a fever? Uh, no, I, I fell down at recess and I bumped my head. Did you carry your dress? No. Well, I guess you'll live. Well, if you can't finish your sandwich, drink your milk. I will. Is Mama home? No, she's at rehearsal. Oh. You two could pass each other on the street and not recognize one another for the amount of time you spend together. Since when don't you like cherry pie? I'm not hungry, Mama. Huh? She just picked at her lunch, too. Ellen, are you sure you're all right? Yes, yes I'm all right. She said she fell down today. Did you hurt yourself? Not a scratch. Oh, that's good. More pie, Ruth? No, thanks. Delicious as always, though, Lily. It did turn out well. Mm-hmm. Honey, you do look kind of pale. 
I'm going to get you to bed early tonight. I know I'm ready right now. Oh, Ruth, you work too hard. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with all your money? Send the little princess here to college. Nonsense. If she wants to go to college, she'll get there. Mm -hmm. In a sense, you're killing yourself doing it. Mm. I wish you were home more. Mm, I wish I were too, honey. We got to eat. I don't want to go to college. Oh, you say that now. When you get to be a grown-up girl, it'll be a different story. Well, time to clean up my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Need any help, Louie? No. You do your work, I do mine. <laughs> my work tonight's a great big fat script I've got to memorize. Was it long, Pike? Very long. A good one. Well, honey, how was school today? Fine. That's good. Well, to work. <laughs> going to steal 50 cents from your purse. What would you do if you knew what I was like, Mama? Ellen, don't ever be an actress. I won't. I'm not pretty enough. You're not, huh? <laughs> You're a princess. You're going to be a real beauty one of these days. Why are people mean? What, honey? Why... I think I'll go to bed, Mama. Yeah, all right, honey. It's a good idea. Mm. Wish I could do the same thing and sleep tight. Say a special prayer for me tonight, huh? I always do. Mm, good girl. Good night, honey. Good night. Mama? Hmm? Good night. Good night. Will you be able to eat home tomorrow night? Uh, I, I don't know, Lily. I'll call you from rehearsal. doing in here, honey? I thought you went to bed. What are you doing? Uh, I couldn't help it, Mama. I had to do it. I just had to. What's the matter? I had to. I had to. You had to do what? Helen, you... What have you got in your hand? Ellen, look at it. What is it in your hand? <laughs> the money. The 50 cents. I had to do it. I didn't want to. Really, I didn't want to. You mean you, uh, you took the money out of my purse? I bet, Mama, I bet. Ellen, you said you had to take the money? Why? If you needed the money, couldn't you come and ask me for it? I couldn't. I wanted to. I tried to tell you, but I didn't want to bother you. Aunt Lily said, oh, Mama. Oh. Aunt Lily said what? Well, what in the I world? Bet, Mama. Ellen, I what bet. is the matter with you? It's all right, Lily. It's all right. Well, I'll take care of this, Ruth. I'm used to it. Lily, just go out, will you? Go what? out and close the door. All right. Oh, Baby. Oh, darling, what have I done to make you so afraid? Shh, never mind, darling. 
Don't cry. Everything's going to be all right. And don't be afraid. Please, baby, don't be afraid. I'm no. bad, Mama. I'll tell you now. I'll tell you. No, only if you want to. But you don't have to. Because you see, Mama knows you're a good girl. But I'm not. Of course you are. <laughs> Mama. Mm -hmm. this, this morning when I went to school, Gloria and Janet had a secret. <laughs> We're supposed to be best friends, and I want to tell a secret, too. Yes. A better secret to tell them, so we'd be best friends again, and I wouldn't be alone. Oh, I see. Oh. My mother's going to have a baby. A girl. Don't be mean, Dora. It was that Lily sent you home. I didn't do it. I liked you. Well, I don't like you, so I'll just keep your little note and give it to old Streamy. That'd be more fun no, anyway. No, no, don't do that. I tell you what, you bring me 50 cents tomorrow morning and I'll give you back your note, okay? But, but that's cheating. I should worry. Some people do worse than that. And that's how I got to be a bad girl, Mama. Ellen, you know something? I don't think there's such a thing as a bad girl. Oh, I think sometimes parents are stupid or bad. And that makes children do stupid things or even bad things. You couldn't be bad. Well, I'm glad you don't think so, sweetie. Oh, Mama. Yes. What will that Lily and Miss Ford say? Nothing, darling. They'll understand. I'll talk to them. But if they know the thing... Don't worry about it anymore. Mom will take care of it in the morning, all right? But Dora knows and she's so mean. Never mind, honey. Maybe Dora's just hurt and scared, too. Would you like to sleep in here with me? Good. And then tomorrow we'll go to school, huh? And I'll talk to Dora. Oh, thank you, Mama. Ellen, I want you to remember something. No matter how terrible things may seem to you. Nothing you can ever do is so bad that you can't come and tell me about it. And I'll help you. That's what mothers are for. Will you remember that? Yes, I love you, Mama. I love you too, darling. Poignant tragedies of childhood. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we parents could be conscious all of the time of the sensitivity of a child's mind and the delicacy of their emotions? Wise mother indeed, who knows her own child. Mm -hmm.